Or what if I told you that anxiety, the very emotion you often dread, could be the key to unlocking your full potential? This statement may seem paradoxical, but the enigma of human existence is a labyrinth that's often filled with such paradoxes. The human condition is a complex tapestry of emotions, thoughts and experiences. Each strand of this tapestry carries with it the potential for greatness, yet often it is the threads of anxiety that seem to dominate our existence. Our lives are rife with choices, each one presenting its own set of challenges and opportunities. The responsibility of making these choices can often be overwhelming, leading to a state of existential anxiety. Yet, it is precisely this anxiety that holds the potential for transformation. Just as a lump of coal is subjected to immense pressure and heat to transform into a diamond, so too does the pressure of anxiety have the potential to shape us into more resilient, empathetic and insightful beings. In the grand theatre of life, anxiety plays a dual role. On one hand, it is the villain, the source of our distress and discomfort. On the other, it is the hero, the catalyst that propels us towards self-discovery and personal growth. This paradoxical nature of anxiety is deeply rooted in the human experience. It is what makes us uniquely human. The ability to feel deeply, to question our existence, to grapple with the unknown, these are the hallmarks of our species. And at the heart of it all lies anxiety. In the realm of philosophy, this seeming contradiction is not only acknowledged but also deeply explored. Philosophers delve into the depths of human existence, unearthing the role of anxiety in shaping our lives and our destinies. They guide us to view anxiety not as a burden to be shunned, but as a tool to be harnessed. So let us embark on this journey together, exploring the enigma of existence, the paradox of anxiety, and the potential for greatness that lies within each one of us. For it is in the exploration of these complexities that we find the true essence of being human. In the realm of philosophy, this seeming contradiction is not only acknowledged but also deeply explored. One philosopher who delved into these depths was Soren Kierkegaard, often dubbed the father of existentialism. Kierkegaard, born in the early 19th century in Denmark, was a man ahead of his time. He was a philosopher, yes, but also a theologian, a poet, a social critic and a religious author. His works explored the complexities of human existence, grappling with concepts such as faith, despair, freedom and anxiety. Now let's delve into Kierkegaard's philosophy. His teachings were not meant to give us easy answers, but rather to provoke thought and introspection. He championed the idea that human existence is not a fixed, determined entity, but a process of becoming. And central to this becoming, according to Kierkegaard, is anxiety. In Kierkegaard's lens, anxiety is an inevitable part of human existence. It is a consequence of our freedom and responsibility. We are free beings, capable of making our own choices. But with this freedom comes an immense responsibility that can weigh heavily on us. We're not just responsible for our actions, but also for who we become. This responsibility, this freedom, can often stir a deep-seated anxiety within us. But Kierkegaard didn't view anxiety as a negative aspect to be eradicated. He believed that it is a necessary part of our existence, a condition that pushes us to confront our freedom and responsibility. He saw it as a driving force, a catalyst that propels us towards self-realization and authenticity. Kierkegaard's philosophy invites us to embrace our anxiety, to accept it as an integral part of our being. It is not something to fear or avoid, but rather a condition to understand, confront and navigate. In this light, anxiety is not our enemy. It is a complex companion, a challenging but necessary part of our journey towards self-discovery and personal growth. It is a reminder of the depth of our freedom, the weight of our responsibility and the potential of our existence. For Kierkegaard, anxiety was not a foe, but a vital part of our existence. Interesting as it may be, how does anxiety become a catalyst for greatness? At first glance, anxiety seems like a crippling ordeal, a storm brewing within us. However, the Danish philosopher Soren Kierkegaard, a pioneer in existential thought, had a different perspective. He believed that anxiety is not just a symptom of modern life, but an inherent part of being human. 
To Kierkegaard, anxiety was the dizziness of freedom, a feeling that arises from the terrifying yet exhilarating fact that we are free to choose our own path in life. This freedom brings with it a profound sense of responsibility which can often manifest as anxiety. But here's the twist. Kierkegaard argued that this anxiety could be a driving force, a catalyst for greatness. He believed that instead of shying away from this unease, we should embrace it. By acknowledging our anxieties, confronting them and harnessing their energy, we can push ourselves to achieve our full potential. Let's consider some examples. Think about the athlete standing at the starting line, heart pounding, palms sweating. This anxiety isn't a hindrance, but a motivator. It's the fuel that drives them to push their body to its limits, to strive for that gold medal. Or consider the artist staring at a blank canvas, feeling the weight of infinite possibilities. Their anxiety doesn't paralyze them, rather it sparks their creativity, pushing them to create something truly unique. In the world of business, entrepreneurs often talk about healthy stress or eustress. This is the anxiety that keeps them on their toes, constantly innovating and adapting to stay ahead of the competition. So you see, anxiety isn't just a dark cloud hovering over us. It's a powerful force that, when understood and harnessed, can propel us towards greatness. It can push us to transcend our limitations, to go beyond what we thought was possible, and to truly make a mark in this world. In essence, our anxieties can push us to transcend our limitations and become greater. Fast forward to the 21st century, we find ourselves in a world brimming with choices and information. From the moment we awake, we are bombarded with decisions. What to wear, what to eat, which route to take to work, which articles to read, which social media posts to respond to. And these are just the trivial matters. What about the significant decisions? What career path to choose, who to marry, where to live, whether to have children or not? The list is endless. This constant state of decision-making, of choosing, is a hallmark of the modern human condition. It is an embodiment of existential freedom, but also a source of anxiety. Yes, anxiety. A word that often carries negative connotations, but is essentially a part of our human nature. This anxiety, this underlying unease, is a reflection of our understanding of the freedom we possess, the freedom to shape our own lives and the enormous responsibility that comes with it. This anxiety is not a disorder or a condition to be treated, rather, it is a natural response to the overwhelming freedom and responsibility we hold as conscious beings. It is a reminder of our ability to influence our own existence, a reflection of our existential freedom, but with this freedom comes responsibility and with responsibility comes anxiety. We're not like other animals driven by instinct alone. We have the ability to reflect on our choices, to ponder the consequences of our actions, to envision different futures for ourselves. This is our existential freedom, but it is also a source of anxiety. For every choice we make, there are countless others we reject, and each choice carries with it the weight of responsibility. But fear not, for this anxiety is not a curse, but a blessing in disguise. It is a sign of our human condition, of our ability to shape our own lives. It is a call to action, a reminder of our potential for greatness. It is the fuel that drives us to strive, to create, to innovate. It is the catalyst for our our growth and development. Indeed, the same anxiety that Kierkegaard spoke of is more relevant today than ever. It is a part of our modern human condition, a reflection of our existential freedom and responsibility. And it is through understanding and embracing this anxiety that we can truly live our lives to the fullest. So, how can we in this modern world overcome our anxieties, you might ask? As we delve into the teachings of Kierkegaard, we find that the answer is not as daunting as it may seem. Firstly, it's crucial to understand that anxiety is not inherently negative. It's a natural human response, a signal alerting us to the potential for danger or discomfort, but it also serves as a catalyst for growth and self-improvement. It's a paradoxical truth, yet one that can be liberating once fully grasped. To manage anxiety, Kierkegaard suggests we should embrace it. Instead of viewing anxiety as a tormentor, see it as an instructor. By acknowledging its existence, we can change our relationship with it. We can use it as a tool to probe deeper into ourselves, to understand our values, our desires and our fears. 
Next, we can use anxiety as a motivator. Kierkegaard believed that anxiety could lead us to make choices that result in personal growth and development. When we face our anxieties, we are forced to confront our limitations and potential. This confrontation can spur us to action, pushing us to strive for greater things. Finally, we need to cultivate an attitude of acceptance. Life in all its complexity is fraught with uncertainty. Trying to control or predict every outcome is not only futile, but also a source of unnecessary anxiety. Kierkegaard teaches us to accept the inherent uncertainty of life, to make peace with the unknown. After all, it is in the realm of the unknown that possibilities lie. These strategies, while not exhaustive, provide a starting point for those seeking to understand and manage their anxiety. It's a journey that requires patience, courage and introspection. But it's a journey worth taking, for it leads to a richer, fuller, more authentic existence. Remember, the goal is not to eliminate anxiety, but to harness it. Anxiety is an integral part of the human experience. It's a testament to our capacity to feel, to hope and to strive. And in this lens, we can see that anxiety, when understood and managed, can indeed be a powerful ally on our journey to self-discovery and personal growth. With these tools in hand, the path to greatness becomes clearer. Imagine a path, not a straight and narrow one, but a winding trail that twists and bends, leading into the depths of the unknown. This is the path to greatness, a journey marked not by the absence of anxiety, but by its presence. It is a journey that requires courage, resilience, and a willingness to embrace the uncomfortable. Anxiety, though often painted in shades of fear and uncertainty, is a guiding light on this path. It illuminates our vulnerabilities, revealing the areas in our lives that require growth and evolution. When we face our anxieties, we confront our deepest fears and uncertainties, and it is in this confrontation that we find our strength. The path to greatness is not a race, it's a marathon. It's not about sprinting to the finish line, but about enduring, persisting and learning with each step we take. It's about understanding that every stumble, every fall, is an opportunity for growth. It's about realizing that the fear of failure is not a barrier, but a stepping stone towards success. But remember, this path is uniquely yours. The journey to greatness is not a one-size-fits-all endeavor. What works for one may not work for another. It's about finding your rhythm understanding your pace and aligning your steps with your heartbeat. It's about carving your own path, guided by your unique experiences and challenges. And so, as you traverse this path, let anxiety be your compass. Let it guide you towards the areas that require your attention, the aspects of your life that are yearning for change. Embrace it, confront it, and utilize it as a tool for personal growth and achievement. The path to greatness is not about eliminating anxiety, but about learning to dance with it. It's about transforming this perceived adversary into a trusted ally, a companion that pushes you beyond your comfort zone, propelling you towards greatness. It's not about reaching a destination, but about embarking on a journey of self-discovery and growth. In the end, it's all about perspective. Just as the kaleidoscope of human existence is painted with a broad spectrum of emotions, anxiety is an inherent part of our lives. It's a testament to the profound responsibility we bear, a reflection of our awareness of the vast array of choices before us and the weighty implications of our decisions. Yet this existential anxiety, this disquieting undercurrent in the sea of our consciousness, is not merely a burden to be endured, it is, in fact, a catalyst, a transformative force that can propel us towards greatness. The philosopher's lens teaches us to view anxiety not as an adversary but as an ally. It is a call to action, a signal from the depths of our psyche urging us to confront the enigma of existence and to carve our own path through the wilderness of uncertainty. In the modern era, we are inundated with information, overwhelmed by options and often paralyzed by the fear of making the wrong choice. Yet it is this very anxiety, this fear of erring that can guide us towards wisdom. It encourages introspection, fuels our quest for knowledge and ultimately helps us make informed decisions. Overcoming anxiety doesn't mean eradicating it. It means understanding its origins, acknowledging its presence and harnessing its power. 
It means transforming this seemingly negative force into a positive one, using it as a springboard for growth and self-improvement. The path to greatness is not devoid of anxiety. It is punctuated by it. Every step forward is a victory over fear, every achievement a testament to the power of perseverance in the face of uncertainty. So as we stand on the precipice of the unknown, let us not shun anxiety. Let us instead embrace it, channel it, and use it as a beacon to guide us through the darkness. So next time you feel anxious, remember, it's not a sign of weakness, but a testament to your human potential. Harness it and watch how far it can take you.